Hi guys, welcome to the video. So this is going to be of one free top tips um, that everyone should know how to do on a car. First one being change your wheel. So ensure the car's on a level ground. Uh, have yourself a suitable jack, um, something like that. That's an aftermarket one. Some cars do come with their own standard jack. And obviously a wheel wrench. Um, that's a 17 mil to this one. So we've got five bolts there to remove. So what I'm going to do is slacken the bolts before I jack it, just to un untweak it a little bit. So let's do that. Just so they're loose enough. So obviously I'm going to do that for each one. I've got five on this one. So let's buzz round. You can get obviously long longer extensions, so it makes it a little bit more easier. Um, gives you more leverage to do the bolts okay so that's m5 done now uh, for the car for jacking you can have a jacking point uh, on this particular car you've got like a pad you see it there there's the pad so you need to get the jack underneath Make sure it's going to sit good, centralised, have the jack in line with the car, and then begin jacking. Start off easy so you can see where it's going to go, and then the car will begin to lift. Sometimes they have like a little nip on them, like this one has, just there, make sure that's right in. Otherwise the jack will go down uh, and obviously you don't want that. So that was nice and tight. Let's get it so the wheel comes off the ground. There you go, you can just hear it. It's just sunk in nice. It's near the edge a little bit, but it is safe. And the wheel is nearly off the ground. Okay, so we've got a little bit of ground clearance. You soon know, because obviously you can spin the wheel. So, right, there you go. That's that part. And then obviously, because you're slacking these off, you can now take the bolts out. Um, most cars have four. German cars seem to have five, a bit more sensible, just gives you a bit more extra security. You may have a locking wheel nut. Um, so obviously you'll need to find that usually in the boot or centre console people seem to stash them um, unless we will find them so next bit if your wheel this one I've had off recently so I know it's going to come off easy uh, if you find when you took off your wheel it's um, very stiff then you can give it a tap with your hand if that's no good give it some little donkey kicks like this so just give it a Get the right angle, kick it with your foot, and obviously it'll come off. You do have to be a little bit careful, but that's only if it's welded. And obviously you've got to mind your guarding around your brake disc. So obviously that's how you take off your wheel. Put that somewhere safe. Another important factor when um, jacking up your car, obviously pull up your handbrake, put it in gear, and also use, if you have any, um, the wheel stops or brick or whatever just to try and stop the car from moving but if you're on a flat surface you should be okay, okay so when you're putting your wheel back on <clears throat> you've obviously got to line it up with the holes it can be a little bit more difficult with the front wheel because uh, obviously the front brake and disc will still rotate so uh, make sure you wear a nice pair of gloves because um, you will get quite dirty and uh, it may require two people um, but line it up, try and use one bolt first uh, on a hole that lines up best. Get it in to start you off um, and it should pull the wheel. I'm going to get the wrench on that and then hopefully, because I'm trying to film it, it's even more difficult. There we go, we might be lucky. So that will start you off and line you up with the other holes. Obviously it will rotate, but at least it's took thread so then obviously repeat that with the other bolts as I'll do I'm 
obviously difficult one-handed. So do it freehand first of all, just put the bolt in. Get it in as much as you can. Obviously all four or all five of them. Make sure they do all line up, which I'm sure they will. Okay, then just give them a little tweak with the wrench. It'll obviously go a lot more, because rather than doing it by hand, that just start to turn. There we go, so we'll do that for all five. So that's all five hand tight sort of thing. So now we can let the car down and torque it up. I think it's about 120 Newtons. If you want to get technical, um, obviously using my jack, that's where this little button comes in handy. So the wrench goes on there. And obviously it's lowered the car already. So now, obviously you don't want to forget this bit. You tighten your wheel nuts right up to the required amount, which is about, as I say, 120 Newtons or just as tight as you can so um, you know that's not going to go anywhere okay so i'm going to do the rest of the bolts uh thanks for watching and uh see you the next tip